Hello and welcome back to my channel. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, what better way to celebrate than with custom confetti hearts to sprinkle the love around? So in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to use a Cricut to create these adorable custom hearts. And since I can't pick a favorite between the all pinks or the classic candy colors, we'll be making both using the same pack of cardstock. This Cricut project is perfect for beginners and is such a quick and easy way to add a personal touch to any celebration. I've personally made custom confetti for wedding DIYs, Valentine's gifts, and even for my son's camping themed baby shower. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe for more Cricut DIYs and check out my TikTok for quick tutorials this Valentine's season. We'll need a few supplies for this project. I'll be using the original Cricut Maker, a light grit mat, I have the 24 inch mat but you only need a 12 inch for this, a printer, and colored cardstock. The exact supplies I'm using are all linked down in the video description along with the font I'm using today. So here we are in Cricut Design Space starting with the brand new project. I'm going to start by adding in a heart shape and changing the color to white. Now I want these to resemble this classic conversation heart candies, so I unlock the shape and change the size to 1 by 0.8 inches. Now I'm just zooming in on this little heart so we can add and design the text. I already have my font downloaded and I actually picked one that looks just like the font used on the conversation heart candy, so I added my text and changed that to my sweetheart font. So if you have a Creative Fabrica monthly subscription, this font is already included in that or you can try it out for free using the link in my video description or you can always purchase the font individually. Now I add in the text for my first heart and then I need to make a few adjustments setting the line spacing to negative 2 and then I change the color to whatever you want your text to be. I'm going to be using a dark red just like the conversation heart candies. Now I size that down to fit on my heart making it to around an 11 font size. Once I have my first heart designed, I duplicate the heart and the text box and edit the wording for my second heart. I then repeat this step till I have all the hearts designed and I am using five different confetti hearts. Now that all five of my hearts are designed, I go back and make any final adjustments, making sure that the text is centered, then I flatten the text onto each individual heart. Now comes the prep for our printing and cutting. So I will duplicate enough hearts to fill a standard 8.5 by 11 inch print and cut page. Usually I can fit around 60 hearts on the one page, making the most of the space. So with each of my 5 confetti hearts on this single page, I end up with 12 of each design. Now that my project is ready to make, I go ahead and click the make it button. From here, we can print our designs onto our cardstock, just make sure that the bleed option is switched off, and you can also adjust the number of copies for however many cardstock sheets that you want to print. Now I set the base material to medium cardstock before heading over to my printer and Cricut machine. And now it is finally time to bring our designs to life. Here are the colors that I used for the classic candy heart set, and here are the three colors that I used for the all pink set. From here, you'll want to load your cardstock into the printer and hit print. Once those are printed, load each sheet onto your Cricut cutting mat and follow the prompts on your Cricut for cutting.
Once the Cricut is finished cutting, remove the mat from the Cricut machine and carefully remove the confetti from the sticky mat. Flipping the mat upside down helps release the cardstock from the mat, and I found that removing them row by row and brushing the confetti out of the way helps keep things in order. And I am so sorry that my arm is in the shot here, but I have a much better view here in a minute and also over on my TikTok. I collect my confetti in a glass bowl and mix them all together. They are looking so cute already. This quick and easy Cricut project was so fun to make and your custom confetti hearts are ready to spread some love. They can be used to decorate cards, gifts, and even your table settings for a heartfelt touch this Valentine's Day. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on creating custom confetti hearts using the Cricut print and cut function. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY craft ideas. Happy crafting and happy Valentine's Day. I will see you again soon.